Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do a what's in my bag video. Those are always a favorite, but today I'm going to do it a little bit differently. As you can see, I have a box in front of me. The handbag brand Teddy Blake reached out to me to see if I wanted to try out one of their bags, see how I liked it, and if I liked it, to share it with all of you. So I thought it would be fun to do a little unboxing of this bag. As you can see, I did already open it because I wanted to check it out and make sure that I really liked it before I shared it with you guys. And then after, I was going to show you the bags I'm using right now. So I have three different bags in addition to this bag that I use on a rotating basis for different purposes. So I thought it would be fun to kind of show you how I use the different bags. So yes, I got shipped this bag from Teddy Blake and let's go ahead and open it. So here's what the box looks like. It's super nice, feels so luxe. And then it has this flip top kind of lid. And then the inside of the box is black. It has the brand name here, Teddy Blake New York. Designer handbags made in Italy, luxury leather. So let's take a look. Here's the bag. So this style is called the Kim Stampato, I think you pronounce it. It's 11 inch light gray. I love it so much. Let me move the box out of the way. So just for size reference, here's the size of my hand. I asked for the 11 inch. I believe it comes in a smaller one and a larger one maybe, and I think this is the medium size. I want it to go as small as possible, yet still be able to fit my planner in here because if you follow me, you know I take my planner everywhere, so that was an important aspect. So here's how it looks from the top, the front, so pretty, the side, the back, and the bottom has these little feet for protecting the bottom leather. And what I really love about this bag, I love a top handle bag or any bag that has a shorter handle at the top. So like when I'm getting in and out of the car or I just need to grab my bag real quick, you don't have to deal with a long strap. You can just grab it by the short handle. And then it does come with a longer strap to hook on to the top handle so you can wear it on your shoulder or as a crossbody. You can see it has the logo here, Teddy Blake, gold hardware. So all you do is turn these little, whatever you call these, and then you open it up. And then it opens like this. So here's the strap I was talking about that you hook right onto the top handle. So that's always handy. Some stuffing in there. And then here's what the inside looks like. So inside, I think this is like a suede. It does have an inside like slip pocket, maybe for your cell phone and no other pockets. So I think it can expand a little bit or close to make it tighter. So let's do the test to see if my planner will fit in here. So I'm in my personal size Louis Vuitton MM agenda. And bam, fits perfectly in here with space to add my other things. And what I really like about this is when I put my planner in, it doesn't fall over. It stands up straight. I love a structured bag so it's not falling over and getting dirty on the sides. So it passed the planner test. So yeah, overall quality, first of all, it smells so good, you guys. <laughs> it smells so good. It really feels like great quality, like very sturdy. And I already kind of like looked it over, looked at the stitching, the edges, like the glaze on the edges. Everything looks really, really good, like really high quality, even the gold hardware. I like this gold hardware. It's like a, like, what do you call it? Like a light gold, not a really super yellowish gold. 
which is really nice. I have to say I am really impressed with this bag. So some things I learned about it, first of all, there's many different styles of bags they have on their website. It was so hard for me to choose, but I always wanted this kind of style of bag to carry around for like, if I wanna be a little bit more fancy. So this is real leather, like premium Italian leather made in Italy. And yeah, it's super great quality. And what they really try to get their customers to know is that the quality of their handbags are on par with the luxury brands out there, but at a much more affordable price point. And like I said, they have tons of different styles. It was so hard for me to choose you guys. Like I love handbags, probably second to planners is handbags, but actually handbags was my first love. And I'm very, very picky about the handbags I use. I really love this one so much. I think it's great quality. It's beautiful. This is the light gray color, like pebbled. It's turning up a bit lighter on camera, and I don't know if you can see the pebbling of the leather, but it's really nice. And the color is like a light gray color. Check out their website. I'll link all the information down below. So I wanted to kind of see my stuff fit in there, but before I do that, I wanted to show you guys the bag I've been using on an everyday basis. So this is my coach bag. I get a lot of questions about it. I got this at the outlet years ago, so I don't even know if it's available anymore, but it's like kind of like a glossy black croco coach. It does have, like I said, I love a short top handle, and then it does have two little loops here to hook a longer strap to wear as a crossbody or over your shoulder. So this is what I carry every day. It's also structured so it doesn't fall over. So of course I have my planner in here. I do often carry my iPad with me. This is my iPad mini. I do carry my phone with me, of course. And then that's all in the middle. It has a slip pocket here, a slip pocket here, and then this main compartment here. And then it has two zippers on the side. And in the front zipper, I have tissue. And I have this little pouch that I got from Muji, which carries my necessities. I have this mini little spray bottle for my hand sanitizer. I got this at Daiso. I like it because it's small to fit in this little pouch. I have this Glossier lip balm. I love this. I have a little bottle of lotion. I think I got this little container at Daiso as well. As you can see, there's a theme here. I like to keep things small and compact to fit in my bag. Since my planner is so heavy and takes up a lot of space, I like to keep everything else small. I have this little container of like Tylenol and some different medicines, allergy medicine. I also have this little cloth to clean my glasses, a couple of hair ties, and my inhaler. What I really like about this Muji pouch is it has this little thing sewn in where I put the cloth for cleaning my glasses so it doesn't get all mixed in with everything else, so that's super convenient. And then that's all in the front zipper. And then in the back zipper, I carry masks, one for me, one for my daughter, my keys, and some gum. And that's it. This is the bag. It also has feet at the bottom, gold hardware. I love this bag a lot, but I was thinking that when I wanna be a little bit more dressier, if I go to a meeting, if I go out to brunch with somebody and I just want to look a little bit more put together and cute, then I can carry this bag. I likely would not carry my iPad if I was going out to like a brunch or something, but I do always carry my planner. So we already know that fits in there. I can put my phone in that little slip pocket. It doesn't fit as well sideways, but it fits standing up. And then I would just slip my mask behind my planner, my pouch right there in front of my planner can fit on the side as well as my gum and my keys. So everything fits in perfectly in here. I could even fit my iPad in here if I wanted to carry it with me. So I have everything that was in my everyday bag in here. It closes up nicely. I didn't even notice that this has some more holes here. So if you wanted to close this tighter, 
you can close it tighter as well. Oh, I didn't notice that when I first opened this bag. So that's useful. So if you want to make it more tight and then I would just carry it like this. Super cute. So let me show you my two other bags. So like I said, I would carry this bag probably when I want to be a little bit more fancy or like if I'm going to a meeting with somebody or a brunch. This bag is more of my everyday bag that I just throw stuff in. And then I have this bag, it's B-A-G-G-U. And I love this tote bag. It's super great quality canvas. Again, the top handles, I'm telling you, you're gonna see there's a theme going on here. The short top handles, there's two of them. The long adjustable strap, so you can use it over your shoulder or as a crossbody. It has a snap closure. So this one, I think they call it the duck bag. So I think there's the standard duck bag, which is more long and narrow. I like, I think they call this the horizontal duck bag and it's more wide than tall. So there's a snap here so you can close it. There's also this snap here, which I've never used and I don't think I would ever use, but you can snap it like this. I don't know why. I guess to close it more so it's like this I don't know I never use that <laughs> but inside there's one zipper pocket and then no other pockets but what I do here's a little hack for you guys I've been wanting to share this over on Instagram but I keep forgetting I put in a bag organizer because without this bag organizer, everything is just thrown in there. I'm the type that likes everything neat and organized. Plus I carry my planner around with me everywhere and it's a pet peeve of mine when my planner doesn't stay standing up straight in the bag like this when it flops over. I don't know why that bothers me so much. So I decided to use my bag organizer. I got this on Amazon, I'll link it down below has tons of pockets on the outside, on the inside, and even like this kind of pocket for if you wanna put an iPad. So I just slipped it in here. And then when I put all my stuff in here, it's more organized, everything has a spot, and it stands up. It's not as sturdy like if you're gonna, if you knock it over, it'll probably fall over, but it stands up on its own. I really, really like this bag a lot great quality so I use this bag more so when I know I'm gonna go like shopping the only one thing I would say about this bag so I did a test here I lit rollered this side but this side if you can see is super linty and so that's the one kind of critical thing I would say about this bag besides that I love this bag so much so this bag comes in other patterns which I think would probably be better I don't think it would pick up lint as much or show lint as much as the black but I love this bag so much so I still use it I just run a lint roller over it every so often and then lastly I've shared this bag before in a previous what's in my bag but this is the bag I take with me when I want to travel light. This also has a short top handle. And of course, this also fits my planner perfectly. So that's always a criteria for my bags that they have to be able to fit my planner. And it actually has a lot of space for like my pouch and everything in here. So yeah, inside it has two slip pockets for like your keys, your cell phone. It also does have a zipper pocket in here. The only thing I would say is be careful for the zipper. So when I take my planner in and out, I just be careful that the zipper is not rubbing against my planner. It has this like leopard kind of print pattern on the inside, tons of pockets. So it has this zip pocket where I like to put my cell phone actually. These little pockets, which before I was using my pouch, I was just putting the different little like hand sanitizer and lotion and stuff in these little pockets. And then it does have this pocket in the back, which I was using to put my face mask. So this is Rebecca Minkoff. So these are all my bags that I'll rotate through for different purposes. So again, this would be for like when I want to be a little bit more fancy. This is my everyday bag. This is my travel light bag, and this is like my shopping tote. So I had a lot of fun filming this video, sharing my different bags and different ways I use them. I hope you guys like this video too. Make sure to check out Teddy Blake website information down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.